Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you a quick um, tips, and techniques, tips and techniques video for um, Scotch or 3M um, using the Advanced Tape Glider, which is the ATG gun that we all love. And check them out. They're in pink now and they're about half the price they used to be, which is awesome. So I'm loving this. Um, I'm just using a piece of scrap chipboard. I'm going to show you how I cover my chipboard using the ATG gun. I go onto the edge here and I go, I would say about a sixteenth of an inch over the edge. So the glue is going to hang over the edge just a little bit. So you can see there's a little bit of glue hanging over the edge. And then I go all the way around my piece of chipboard framing it out. And then what I do is, this is how I make sure I've got enough glue that's going all the way to the edge, is I take that that um, glue that's hanging over the edge and I just rub my finger over it and I fold it right back over onto the ch top of the chipboard. Um, so it's really easy to do and you don't have to worry about the oil from your fingers because this stuff is super super sticky and it'll still stick and sometimes um, my chipboard will come apart and lift up a little bit because the, the glue is really strong but it's all good, it'll still work. So then you take your piece of paper and stick it right over the top here. You stick it down and now you don't have to worry about those those edges lifting up at all and it's really strong so it stays clear and usually I put an X um, through the middle too just in case I'm going to miss this and heat it up I don't want it to bubble up. Um, but another trick is with your tag, if you're going to glue, let's just take one of these little tags and say we're going to glue this onto this page or we want to glue it onto this page. So I would do the same thing. I take my ATG gun and I go over the edge just a little bit. Um, it doesn't matter how much, really. And But this time, we're not going to tuck in those edges because we don't want it to be bulky. All we're going to do is we're going to stick it right where we want it, and then take your finger and just rub along that edge, and that tape will peel up. So that excess tape on the sides will come right up. Because remember, I went over that, that piece. So now you don't see any of that glue on the edge which is really cool. But something that's even cooler is using this glue um, for other things. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to sort of um, make stripes on my paper. And normally you would do this before you put any tags down. And I'm not trying to be real straight with it or anything. I'm just um, doing this really quickly so I can show you some other things that you could do. All right, so once again, I went over the edge a little bit, so I'm just gonna fold those edges over, and my lines are totally crooked. Um, I'm sure you guys will do a much better job than I did on this, but it's okay. Um, so I just fold those over, and then I'm gonna grab some glitter, and you could do this with embossing powder too. Um, so I've got some Martha Stewart glitter here in black. And I'm going to sprinkle it over the top um, pretty heavily because I want to make sure I get all my little stripes there. And then I'm going to take my finger and I'm kind of just going to make sure I press down that glitter. And when you make your stripes, you want to make sure that you get, and I'm rubbing my glitter on here so it'll go nice and flat onto that tape. And if you if you miss a spot with the glue runner, then you'll see it, of course, in just a bit. So this glitter is um, sort of like the little strips of glitter, glitter instead of the hexagon or the octagon shaped glitter or even the circle punch glitter. So it's a little different, but it's still fun to use. So I'm going to tap off the excess. Then now I've got glittery stripes on my page. Isn't that cool? And you could do this to frame out your pictures too. So you could frame out, all, instead of inking your edges, you could frame out all of your um, pages to have a glittered edge. Or you can use this as your embossing medium to stick some embossing powder down. So I'm going to demo that really quick once I dump all this glitter back into my jar. We don't want to waste it. Get it all in there. All right. So I'll put this away. And I'm plugging in my heat gun. 
really quick and I'm going to grab some embossing powder. Let's see, what color should we use for this? How about some lavender? Let me grab a piece of scratch paper here. So I'm going to grab my ATG gun once again and let's just say we're going to do a little square. All right, so I've got my square, and like I said earlier with the glitters, you could be a little more careful with yours. I'm just being really quick here so I don't bore you too much. You're going to do the same thing that you did with the glitter. You're just going to take your finger, and you're going to press down and sort of really mash it down into that tape. You could rub even if you wanted to, but I just press down a little bit. And then you're going to pour that embossing powder back into your jar. Now you have something like this, and you'll just take your heat gun and heat it up. So you could frame out your wallet size pictures or frame out your pages. And I think it looks really, really cool. It's super easy. You don't have to get a sticky, greasy pad out or anything. Although we love doing that when we're stamping, but this is just something that's easy to do on the edge. Um, and it's so fun and quick, which is the best part. So look at this. So now I have a little embossed frame and you could do this on the outside of your photos or on your pages. So that is my quick tips and techniques with the Advanced Tape Lighter for 3M, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to visit Scotch at, on Facebook. I'm going to put the link right down there, and make sure you leave a comment for us. And thanks for watching, guys.